In this video, I show how to paint this red peony flower in watercolor. I use the photo to the left of the watercolor paper as a reference. Hello and welcome! My name is Tatiana and I like to paint. I'm a medium level hobby painter and a beginner in watercolor. Here in Tatinova Art Journal, I share my progress with you and give tips and tricks regarding painting and drawing. Let's begin. I drew the peony with a proportional divider that I showed in a previous video. Then I transferred the drawing to thick watercolor paper with a homemade light box. I show how to make a simple light box in a previous video. I'll put the video in the description below. I start by coloring the petals. One thing I struggle with as a beginner in watercolor is that a paint dries so much lighter than when it is still wet. I want the color I paint to look like it does when wet, but unfortunately, when the paper has dried, the brush strokes on the paper look pale and anemic. So far, I've only found one way to tackle the problem, and that is to paint several coats of the same color mix. It is such a time-consuming process though. A great time saver is to fill a pocket in the palette with as much of the color mixture I need so that it is enough for several rounds, several layers of color. Then, I paint details as best that I can on the petals, while I try to make the colors more intense and dark when needed. After that, I paint the background and foliage around the flower wet on wet. I use the negative painting technique. That means I sketch some leaves very thinly with a pencil, and then I paint with a green color mixture around the leaf lines. When the paper has dried, I sketch a few more leaves and then I paint again around the new pencil strokes. After that, I paint shadows, both on the flower and on the leaves. I make sure to paint some of the peony's red color on the foliage and use some green shade color on the peony. The reason I do so is to make the different parts of the picture sit well together to become a whole together. And this is the result. I'm quite happy. 
it took quite a few hours to finish. Feels like I'm not coming any further, so it must be good enough as it is. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this film and that you learned something. If you liked this video, please be sure to click like and subscribe. I wish you happy creating. See you soon. Bye. I'll put the video in the description below. Put the video in the description below. In this video, I show how to paint this red peony flower in watercolor. I use the photo to the left of the watercolor paper as a reference.